Welcome back up and Adam on this Thursday morning. We're coming up on 630. And he has been a busy man last couple days. Apparently he's on a fitness kick. <laughs> uh, if you just missed a while ago, he fell backwards. They caught him, thankfully. Then they threw him back, and I, I wonder if he's landed yet. Adam? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> Good morning. We're out here at Get Fit. I'm sitting alive with Karen, owner of Get Fit. Now, Karen, we talked earlier a little about stretching and how to get ready for half marathons, which you're going to be teaching a class about, correct, later in September? Yes. We start September 18th, and we'll train for 12 weeks. Um, we'll have some a lot of these ladies that will be out here running a couple days a week with us uh, early in the morning. And uh, we're trying to get ready for a half marathon in Dallas in December. And we've been out here since 4 o'clock this morning. And actually, once we got out here, everybody, I don't know if you can see them real quick. We're going to get to them in a second, kind of what they're wearing. But everybody here, they all went running. How long did y'all run again? Three miles? Three miles. And that's three only, miles. three miles is a long time to me. And that's only part of it. Like, they went, that's a uh, half marathon is, in fact, 13 miles, correct? That's right. That's and so good. you start off and you kind of train them how to get to six. And then how do you train them after that? How do you get them over the... the that spot. It's it's a gradual build up. We don't want to go too fast too soon because we don't want injuries. So we take our time, we build up slowly, and we do that on a week by week basis so that once we get to that half marathon, they're ready to, to cover that 13.1 miles. And uh, for those interested, how do they sign up for the class? They can come by Get Fit at 2311 South Georgia or they can give us a call or go to our website. And it's all about safety. They actually, it's, they focus really on safety in this yes. class and I do it. So we're going to talk a little bit about safety. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm wearing this. What is this? That is called a zinglet, which is Zing. highly reflective uh, piece of uh, equipment. Highly reflective. That's, that's not going to weigh you down. It's not going to give you get you really hot and sweaty, but it's just going to give you some protection out there when you're on the streets early in the morning. And it's fashionable. And so <laughs> we're going to move on from there this way. Now we're going to see what everybody else has on this morning. She's wearing an eye fitness belt, correct? Now, what is this? This is, this is a belt that, that people can use to keep their cell phone in, car keys, some extra money, and it's also got reflective pieces. So once she's out on the streets and those car lights hit her, she's going to light up. And, of course, it's, it's called the eye fitness to make it to where they can fit, like, an iPhone or yes. an iPod or eye anything Definitely. in there. Definitely. And so we move on, and actually you can see, now, Javier's not wearing it, but it's a... <laughs> They, the belt's coming guys, you sure. know, it's sort, it's sort of for guys as well. It's either guys or girls. Definitely. And so moving on here, we have a uh, reflective bracelet. So you can see she has it on her uh, calf or on her leg. And then also on the arm up here. And not only does it come with that really, really reflective green, it has lights on it. Yes. It's going to light up. What are, they, what are these called? That's just an amphipod um Reflective arm, yeah. is what that is. It's just all about being, yeah. it's all about being oh, noticed, yeah. all about being right. seen. Right. You look down here, you have some shine, shiny shoes. Mine aren't. Well, I'm going to get my dirty shoes out of the way, but you see hers, got the shininess there. You move on. We have another belt here, but this time you have clipped on lights, correct? correct. And these sort of just blink and they really pop can, for those, for the unsuspecting motorists that don't really see them. Put it anywhere. That's right, and then we move on, and you were the lucky one that got the jacket today. <laughs> so she has a jacket. Now, what is this jacket called? This is just a Brooks Nightlife jacket, and every one of the gray pieces that you see is going to be highly reflective, so it has 360 reflectivity. So any direction that a car light hits them, we've got a, a reflectivity. Okay, and then last but not least, this little Nike hat here that it both breathes and is, has the same kind of reflective surface that can definitely be seen by the trucks, correct? Definitely. I think I'm the most safest out here. I can tell you I've been out here all morning, haven't been hit by a car yet. I blame the vest back to you in the studio. All right, Adam, thank you so much. If you have somewhere that you would like for him to go, mm -hmm. ask him on Facebook or Twitter. You can shoot him an email, of course, to his KVII account. He's at Adam Snyder 7, mm -hmm. at Steve Kerr 7, and at and Meredith CA. There I had you to go. think about it. <laughs> there you go. Well, we're having a lot of fun with him this morning. We have a lot of fun for you with your quiz question. You could win. A coffee, how I miss coffee from McDonald's. Yeah, she's, she's, she's <laughs> over here salivating for coffee. All right, the question today is Riley Switch is the original name of 